Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will solve one problem related to the equivalent of forces. Right? So let's read the problem statement. If the resultant of two equal forces has the same magnitude as either of the forces, then the angle between the two forces is. So we have to find what should be the angle between the two forces if the magnitude is the same as one of the forces right so let's start solving this problem so i request you pause the video at this moment and try to solve this problem by yourself whenever you are ready you can continue with this video so let's solve the problem so equivalent of forces to find the equivalent of forces the law of parallelogram is one of the way to find the equivalent of forces what this method says that if the two forces are the two side of the parallelogram let's say this is the one forces r1 and this is the another forces r2 are the two side of the parallelogram having the included angle is let's say theta right so the resultant of these two um, forces is given by the diagonal of the parallelogram and passing from the intersection of these two forces so resultant or equivalent force is given by the diagonal of parallelogram passing from the intersection of these two forces so this is the equivalent force that we are going to find right so to for finding this let's first understand let's transfer this r2 over here so this is nothing but the magnitude of the second force is r2 let's complete this uh, uh, right angle triangle and also transfer this theta over here this is also the angle theta right let's resolve this uh, r2 on this vertical and uh, horizontal side so this theta so this would be r2 cos theta and this would be r2 sin theta right r2 cos theta and r2 sin theta now what this law of parallelogram says so resultant is equal uh, is equal to the diagonal passing from the intersection of r1 and r2 now let's consider this right angle triangle for finding out this resultant force so this is the right angle triangle using pythagoras theorem using pythagoras theorem let's say hypotenuse square is equals to this length r1 plus r2 cos theta square plus r2 sin theta whole square right so this would be the resultant now here in our problem statement two forces are equal so r1 is equals to r2 and also the resultant have also the same magnitude so let's consider that but r1 is equals to r2 is equals to r so let's put the value of uh, this r1 r2 equal to r in this equation so what we will get r square is equals to r1 r this would become r square plus 2 r square cos theta plus r square cos theta plus r square sin square theta so this would be the cos square theta right so ultimately let's sim further simplify this r square is equals to this is r square plus 
टू आर स्क्वेर कस थीटा प्लस आर स्क्वेर कस स्क्वेर थीटा प्लस आर स्क्वेर साइन स्क्वेर थीटा आर स्क्वेर वुड कम आउट एज अ कॉमन टर्म्स सो साइन स्क्वेर थीटा प्लस कॉ स्क्वेर थीटा विच इज इक्वेबल एंड टू वन सो अल्टीमेटली वी विल गेट आर स्क्वेर सो आर स्क्वेर प्लस आर स्क्वेर अगेन टू आर स्क्वेर टू आर स्क्वेर प्लस टू आर स्क्वेर कॉस थीटा अगेन टू आर स्क्वेर वुड बी कॉमन वन प्लस कॉस थीटा So R square R square cancel out. So let's simplify this term. Uh, so let's say two brings on this uh, left hand side. So one by two is equals to one plus cos theta is equals to. Minus one by two is equals to cos theta. So we know that the negative terms according to the unit circle, right? This value falls on the second quadrant. So cos theta is equals to minus one by two. Theta is equals to pi minus cos inverse one by two. So this is nothing but pi minus cos inverse one by two. So that is equivalent to sixty degrees or uh, pi by three. Right. So it is equivalent to. 2 pi by 3 if we convert into the degree then theta is equals to 2 by 3 into 180 so which is equivalent to 120 degree so the angle between the two forces must be equal to 120 degree right i hope you understand the concept of equivalent forces <clears throat> do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and hit the bell icon for latest notification we'll see you in the next video thank you